In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this nighttime monitor glow. Not only that, but you can also control the color of the glow and give it a flicker effect. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy and Patrick with more Create Studio 3 tips. Randy has been experimenting with light and shadow in Create Studio. And over the next few months, he will provide tutorials covering several techniques that can really enhance your videos. So, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and Patrick, stick the script. Sorry. For this tutorial, Randy will create the glowing light that emits from a monitor to create a nighttime scene. I apologize. Patrick was informed that we do not solicit subscriptions on this channel. Anyway, back to the tutorial. The first thing to do is to build a monitor glowing asset. This asset can then be used in future projects to produce the glow of any monitor or laptop in your nighttime scene. Open a new project in Create Studio. It will be much easier to print this asset by using grid lines, so click on this icon to the far right just above the timeline. Toggle on Snap to Grid and you will see Create Studio has added grid lines to the canvas. Go ahead and leave the grid size to the default. Next, above the canvas, click on the plus symbol and select Rectangle. Move the blue rectangle so that the top left corner touches an intersecting grid lines. You will know when the rectangle is in place because Create Studio will present a horizontal and vertical purple line. Click on the right edge of the rectangle and stretch it so that it also aligns with a grid line. Then click on the bottom edge and drag it so that the rectangle is only one grid wide. When the purple line appears, release the mouse. The next step is to give the rectangle a gradient color going from white to black. In the settings section, open up the color panel. For the filled color, select the middle box. Then drag the circle all the way into the white. That sets the gradient color on the left side. Click of the circle to the right of the gradient bar. Then drag the circle in the color space all the way to the black. We want the white color to be on the bottom of the rectangle, so drag the white dot to the bottom center. Then drag the dot for the black color to the top center of the rectangle. To create a side, duplicate the rectangle. With the duplicate track selected, open the Properties panel and rotate the rectangle 90 degrees. Shrink the length of this rectangle and move it so that its bright corner touches the bright corner of the other rectangle. Purple lines will pop up to indicate that the shape is in place. Size the bottom of the right edge so that it is also on a grid line. Next, click the Distort icon and drag the top right corner to where the grid lines meet above it. This will make an angle of 45 degrees. Do the same thing to the bottom right corner. Then, repeat these operations on the top rectangle. Duplicate the top rectangle and drag it down. Flip the shape vertically so that the black edge is on the bottom. Position it so that the bottom right corners meet. Select the right edge and duplicate it. And position and flip it for the left edge. Select all the edge rectangles and group them and rename them edges. At this point, add another rectangle to the canvas and make it cover the edges we just created. Then in the settings, open up the track mat panel and change mask to edges. You will see the edges turn blue in the middle and change to black as it goes further out. If your blue is solid, it is because the track mat type is alpha. Make sure it is Luma. Select both tracks and group them. Notice in the settings panel you would have four black and white rounded rectangles and one that is blue. 
We are going to set this group up to make it easy to change colors. See that gear icon at the bottom? Click on that to change the group properties. In the Easy Edit Properties, link all the black and white rectangles together. Change the label of the blue rectangle to color. Then hide the black and white rectangles by clicking on the minus symbol above them. Now all you will see in the settings is the value for color. With this you can easily change the glow color. OK, this is an asset you will want to use in your future projects, so right mouse click and give it a nameful name like Monitor Glow. Then right mouse click again and this time select Save to My Sings. Hey Randy, I wish I could say this tutorial has been illuminating. See what I did there? Illuminating. Very clever, Patrick. But I gotta say, your tutorial is putting me to sleep. You are right. Creating the glowing asset isn't very exciting, but now we are ready to apply the glow to a nighttime scene. For this example, use Linka working on PC. Click on the action title and disable the starting and ending animations. Click on rotate above Lenka and spin her so that she is facing the camera. Click on the scenes icon, then switch to my scenes. The monitor glow asset will be displayed here. Drag it onto the canvas or timeline. Surround the monitor by resizing the glow asset. You will want to leave a space of black between the monitor and the glow. Use the distort feature and drag each corner so that the glow completely surrounds the monitor. Notice that the inside edge of the glow is too sharp, so to fix that, open the effects panel and drag the blur effect onto the monitor glow track. Set the blur strength to about 40%. Right now, the glow is way too bright, so open the Properties tab and reduce the opacity until you are happy with the glow. The glow looks nice, but there is a problem because there is a glow coming from the monitor stand. We need to create a mask to fix that. Add a square shape. Resize and place the square on the monitor stand. Click on the Distort icon so that you can align the edges to the stand. Next, select the Monitor Glow Track. Open the Track Map panel and change the mask to Square. Set the type to Alpha. You will notice it removed the wrong part of the glow, so click on Inverted, and now the glow along the stand is mostly gone. I am not sure why, but it seems like the mask is out of position. Not to worry, just click on the square track and with your arrow keys shift the mask until the glow on the stand is gone. Currently, Blinka is way too bright for a nighttime scene. To make her darker, apply the color correction effect. Lower the brightness to a value that seems right to you. The brightness below the desk seems OK, but we don't really want Linka's face and body above the desk to be dark, so let's fix that next. Duplicate the Linka track, and on the top track, remove the color correction effect. To make it so only the top half of Linka is bright, use the pen tool to draw a shape that covers Linka's upper body and the top of the desk. Position your mouse to add points to the shape. It is okay to have straight edges, but it is important to not include any part of the monitor in the shape. The monitor glow should dissipate further from the monitor, so have the shape end halfway through the plant and some of Linka. After adding the point above her head, click on Connect Shape to close the path. Change the color to white and add a blur effect to the shape. Increase the blur strength to 50%. If the shape needs some adjusting, place your mouse inside the shape and double click. Here I'm going to drag this point further right to include more of the plant inside the shape. 
After making changes, click on Exit 10 tool. Select the top like a track by clicking on it. Then in Settings, click on Track Mat. When the Track Mat panel opens, change Mask to Path. You can adjust the reach of the monitor glow by selecting Path and changing the blur strength if you want. Just a few more steps. Find a background that you like and drag it onto the bottom track. To make it look nighttime, you can lower the opacity of the background. By the way, lowering the opacity of the background only works if your canvas is black. With the background in, I see the monitor glow is too bright, so to fix that, click on the monitor glow track and lower the opacity. OK, that is better, and now let's adjust the lighting of Linka to match the glow color of the monitor. Open the Settings panel of the Monitor Glow Track. Open the Color panel and highlight the hex color value that you see here. Use Command C or Control C to copy the hex color value. Click on the top Linka track, then click on the Lights button. This will display a panel for frontal light and ambient light. Click on the frontal pull down and highlight the hex value of FFFFFF and then use Command V or Control V to paste in the monitor color. Notice how Linka's face now has a bluish tint. At this point, it is a matter of adjusting the intensity values of the frontal and ambient lights. The final values that I used was 1% for ambient light and 25% for the frontal light. To make your nighttime scene extra special, let's make the monitor have different color glows at various times. Move the playhead where you want the monitor glow to change color and select both Linka tracks. Use the scissor icon above the timeline to cut both tracks. If you want a third color change, make another cut to both Linkit tracks. Resize the monitor glow track to the first cut and resize the square and path tracks to the end of the video. Then duplicate the monitor glow track for the number of color changes you want in your video. In my case, I'm going to duplicate it two times. Drag the duplicates onto the same track as the original monitor glow. Make sure the duration of each monitor glow clip matches the length of each Lenka clip. Select a monitor glow clip that you want to change color and open the color panel. Here I will give the glow a yellow color. That is a little bright, so I will adjust the color a bit. Once you dialed in the color, copy that hex value. Select the top Linka track and open the Lights panel. Paste the hex value into the frontal color. If it is too bright, then lower the intensity value. Do these same steps for each of the color changes you want to make. Finally, one last tip to really spice up your nighttime scene. Let's add some flicker to the monitor glow. Click on Motion and select Loop. Select Fade and click to add a check mark to the Blink button. Change the Loop value. Here I will choose 3. OK, let's play that and see how it looks. Oops. I forgot to also apply the blinking to the monitor glow. Place the playhead at the start of the blink motion and select the monitor glow clip. Open the motions panel, select loop, select fade, click on the blink button and set the loop value to 3. Now let's play that and see how it looks. There you go. That is how to make your monitor glow multiple colors for a nighttime scene and how to make the monitor glow flicker.
Hey, Randy, can I tell everyone that you are working on a tutorial to apply the same effect to a laptop scene? I think you just did. And not only that, everyone, but Randy will share how to get the monitor to reflect in the character's glasses. So hit that subscribe button, Patrick, and the notification bell. Patrick! Hey, everyone, have a good day and happy creating.